Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay. This is Coloring Bliss and I have a one tip to make your coloring pop. I'm excited to share this with you. I even have examples of how much this one tip can help you with your coloring. But before we get into that, this is the last day of our massive giveaway. Let me show you what you have a chance to win. I invited Steve. Hello, everyone. <laughs> my business partner and husband to come help with the reveal of everything you can win if you win this giveaway. So first off, we have the Castle Arts Gold set, the whole set. And included with this were some bonus items, a whole bunch of cool papers to try, <laughs> the metallic pencils. <laughs> the pastel tint pencils. All right. And the massive set of soft touch castle art pencils. Mm -hmm. And on top of all of that, we're going to help you get organized and get the best out of these pencils. So we have the hot off the press, freshly printed, gorgeous book of color schemes, all centered around the color wheel and the castle art soft touch pencils. 192 color schemes in there. Yep, yeah. and Steve's been working really hard to create this book for all of you. Yeah. So cool. Now we have some other resources for you, and if you have another brand of pencils that you need help with, we might have a brand specific book just for you. So come on over to Coloring Bliss to check that out. Visit the link on the video description to take you to the giveaway because it ends today and you need to get your entries in. Today is January 26, 2022. The winner will be announced tomorrow via email. That's January 27th. And if you missed out on this giveaway, don't fret because we have other giveaways planned very soon. So just make sure you've subscribed, you hit the bell notification, and if you really want to be sure you don't miss it, come on over to Coloring Bliss and at least become a free member so you can get Steve's emails. Okay, let's talk about the other resources we have for you. As always, here at Coloring Bliss, we love to send free resources your way. So Steve, in addition to that book I just showed you, has created a couple free downloads to help you organize specifically two sets of the Castle Arts pencils, the Pastel Tints and the Soft Touch 120. So what we did is we took all these pencils, we put them in a beautiful order that's based on the color wheel, and Steve has created some helps to help you swap them all together. So this one right here is a five page download featuring both the soft touch line and the pastel tint line worked into it. And then he also created, because he knows a lot of you like it, a one page where all of the 168 swatches are all on one page so you can see them at a quick glance. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I don't think they realize how many hours you spend oh, yeah. creating swatch charts. Now, in addition to this, it's time to start celebrating Valentine's Day, you guys. You've got to get your coloring done so that you can display it around your house. So we have two limited time free coloring pages to help you celebrate Valentine's Day. That's this one right here, an adorable gnome sitting underneath a heart tree. And this one right here, was, which is actually a countdown to Valentine's Day. So you can start on February 1st if you want to and just color a little something every day on your way to Valentine's Day. So much fun. These are also really good gift tags too, you guys. Okay, now we also have some new art. So if you're a paid member over at Coloring Bliss, you have access to hundreds hundreds of coloring pages for any holiday, any season. Just such a great resource. So we're adding more to it to help celebrate Valentine's Day. The first one, this was by our Coloring Bliss artist, Anastasia. She drew these two for us. This is such a cute little basket with a heart on top and flowers to color. And then she made a gnome one for us. <laughs> so cute, this little gnome giving her some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> so adorable. So these go into that big premium library that you can have access to for just five bucks a month. You can cancel anytime you want. Now, if you decide to do that five bucks a month, guess what else you get access to? The digital download of this book right here. Yes, the entire book. It's so cool. I'll just swing through it really quick and you can see all the different resources and things to help you learn how to organize your pencils and get the most out of them. Speaking of that, it's time for the tip. The big tip that's going to make your coloring pop. 
So what's that one tip that I'm going to share with you that can make your coloring pop almost better than any other art concept or tip that I can share with you? Well, it's one word and the word is contrast. <laughs> this is something I have personally been working on as an artist for several years. I talk about it a lot. But recently I did an art challenge inspired by you and inspired by these tools right here that wowed me. I mean, this knocked me off my feet how big of a difference there was between these two coloring pages. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So a few weeks ago, I colored this coloring page right here, and I challenged myself to do no tools except for what I could find in this pastel tint box. And it was really fun. It was really hard because I was worried it wouldn't have a lot of contrast. Contrast means a distinct visual difference between two things. And there's lots of ways to create contrast. But one of the things that we teach most here is getting contrast in the colors you choose. You want everything from really deep, deep darks to really bright lights. And that way you can immediately get better contrast. Let me show you because after I finished this, I wanted to recolor it using the new tritones, the light mediums and darks that we recently chose for the Castle Art Soft Touch and the pastel tints work together. So instead of just having a bunch of pastels, which are mostly mediums to light colors, now I had some darks to work with. And let me show you the difference. This is spectacular. Here it is. That's the same color scheme, same light source. The only difference is now I had some true light mediums and darks to work with. Look at how dynamic and how she just pops off the page. The whites look brighter. The darks look darker because of that good contrast. It's so important to have it because it directs your eye, gives visual interest, and can be the difference between, you know, a blah, pretty good piece of art, and one that just pops off the page and makes you want to really look at it. It almost makes you want to reach out and touch it. It's so good. It was so much fun to see the difference between those two coloring pages. Let me hold them up here, too, so you can see them at a distance, how the one with better contrast really pops and it catches your eye, where the other one just, it almost Flat. looks um, sun bleached. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of... It's probably those pastels. Yeah, it looks flat and a little sun bleached. There's nothing wrong with this one, but it could have been so much better <laughs> had I added the darks in. So I actually have both of these pages filmed as a real-time color along so that if you want to give it a try and see what I learned, see what things I struggled with during both of these, then come on over to Coloring Bliss and learn about how you can watch these real-time color alongs. They are so valuable. They come along with the coloring page, lists of supplies, the whole thing, and I teach concepts all along the way. It's a great way to learn and a great way to get your contrast working better for you in your coloring pages. Make those pages pop. So one of the fastest ways you can get into some better high contrast coloring it's to make sure you have a light, medium, and dark of every color you grab to work with. So for example, let's say you have the Castle Art Soft Touch set, maybe not the pastels, this is just the soft touch ones, and you want to choose your own light, medium, and dark for every color on the color wheel. First thing I would recommend is to get a color wheel. <laughs> it really helps you understand the difference between blue, blue, violet, all those different hues. So let's say you're looking for a green. So I would look along here on the swatches. Make sure you swatch all your stuff. I know some of you are anti-swatchers, but you got to embrace it. It's so fun and it's so helpful because now I can come down and look for a good mid-tone green, something that inspires me. So right off, this one right here, number 58, jumped out at me like, that one's a pretty one. So let's say I picked number 58. Then I would want to pair a light and a dark with that main good green. So then you look along 
along the line and you look for one that you think would work well. So right off, I'm thinking that 53 right there would make a really good dark and probably that 108 right next to it would make a good light green. I just scan along and look and see if there's anything that looks better. If not, I grab those three greens and I'm coloring. And that's one of the benefits of using a chart like this where we have, you and I have put them in the order that we think they go. That's right. Is, is we, if we can, we kind of intentionally group a light, medium, and a dark together that are of the same hue. That's right. So those free downloads I talked about at the beginning of the video can become your best friend because we've already got them in a beautiful order based on the color wheel. Now, what we do here at Coloring Bliss, which I love, is we create these what we call tritones, a light, medium, and dark for every color on the color wheel. And we wanted to do that for you with the Castle Art pencils. Now, obviously the pastel tints are, like I said, all tints and very light to medium type contrasting hues. So there wasn't a lot of depth here. So we thought, well, maybe we can create those light mediums and darks from this set here, the 120. There's some missing and I'm gonna show you why here in a second. But as we worked with these, we realized there weren't enough lights. So the best and most logical thing to do was to combine this set with this set so you get the best of both worlds. Those beautiful light pastels mixed in with a really good solid set of color pencils with a lot of great colors to choose from. So as we work with them, we end up choosing three for every color on the color wheel. And that looks like this. We've pulled out 36 pencils, a light, medium, and dark for every color on the color wheel, and here they are. So these are going to be my, my prime candidates for every time I sit down to color and pick a color scheme. I'll start here, and then I can reach into the tins for additional colors as needed. Now, how do I know which colors to pick? Well, we have a book to tell you all about that. That's this book right here. We have Tritone worksheet books for lots of different products, and like I said, this one is specific to Castle Arts Soft Touch and the pastel tints. They're worked in together. So you're going to get swatch pages, so you can swatch all of them. And then you're going to get color schemes. How many color schemes, Steve? <laughs> 192. 192 color schemes based on the Castle Arts pencils. <laughs> so let me show you briefly how this works and I'm going to show you using my Prismacolor set because I have that all colored out. It's in this book here. So what you're going to do is you're going to get this book from us and you're going to fill it out with all the colors, light, medium, and dark for every color on the color wheel, only it'll be Castle Arts, not Prismacolor. <laughs> and there's more to color and swatch sheets, little swatch strips that you can color up to, but this is where it gets really impressive. Let's say I wanted to color that new coloring page by Anastasia, this one right here. And I needed some ideas of how to do it to get some good contrast and good color scheme. Well, I would automatically think this is Valentine's, I'm gonna go for red. <laughs> so let's flip over to the red page right here. And it presents me with a whole bunch of color schemes. Now you're gonna have even more than this. This is an old version of the color scheme book. So there's more than there's this for you. But but for me, I would look at this and think, okay, which of these color schemes that feature red will be a good fit for this page? And so I look at things like, well, these could be colored as leaves and this basket, maybe I need a different color for that. So then I look over here and I start thinking, well, a red and a green would be good. Ooh, and this one has some blue violet and some yellow orange. But down here, we've got more greens and ooh, Ooh, that one right there. That one's probably the one I would reach for. You've got blue, red, orange, and green, and it tells you exactly which pencils to grab from your set so that you can create this nice um, color gradient using your light, medium, and dark color. And you're coloring just like that. Just and reach for them. you're getting good contrast when you color. And that's what's so cool is because we've already done the work for you. And it can be really tricky to go into a set of pencils and find a good light, medium, and dark that really are harmonious and work well together. We did all that for you. So all you need is our book and it will guide you straight through how to get the right light, medium, and dark so you can have good contrast like this. So this page right here was done with the new 
tritones that are with the soft touch and the pastel tints. And this one was just the pastel tints. It's a no-brainer. It's better. All right, so come on over to Coloring Bliss. Get your free resources, become a member, get your paid resources, start picking colors with confidence and getting a nice poppy contrast color every time you color. I'm so excited for you. Don't forget, we have free Valentine's coloring pages too. And today is the last chance you have to enter that giant Castle Arts giveaway. Good luck, everyone, and I hope you have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye. -bye.